Hi! This video will show you how to use StatCrunch to find a z-score, data value, or area using the normal distribution. In StatCrunch, click Stat, Calculators, Normal. A box will open showing a normal curve. By default, a standard normal curve will be displayed. That means a normal curve that has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. You can change the value of the mean and standard deviation by changing the values here and here in the designated fields. From here you can find areas under the curve or you can find data values that are associated with provided areas. For example, if I'm given that the area to the left on the curve is 0.7, I can type that area of 0.7 here and click Compute. Notice that the box inside the parentheses, the value here updated. That means that on the standard normal curve with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1, the value that separates the bottom area of 0.7 is right here at 0.544. 0.5244. Likewise, if I'm given a z-score or a data value and I want to find an area associated with it, I can put the data value and the correct direction here and the program will give me the corresponding area here. Let's say that I want to know the area above a z-score of 1.5. In this field, I can type my given z-score of 1.5 and here I can set the direction to be greater than to indicate that I want the area above or to the right of 1.5. The area to the right of 1.5 on the standard normal curve with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 is provided here. The area is 0 0.066. I can also find the area or data values between two parts of the graph by selecting between at the top and entering the given information in the same way. For example, if I have a data set that's normally distributed with a mean of 25 and a standard deviation of 2, I can enter 25 and 2 here in the appropriate fields for mean and standard deviation. Then I can find the area between two given points by typing those points in here. Say I want to know the area between the data values of 20 and 35. Here I type 20, my lower number, and 35, my higher number. And I see that the area between 20 and 35 is provided here. The area is 0.993. Likewise, I can enter an area here, we'll say 0.8, and hit enter and the program will give me the two data values on the graph that border the middle 80%.